that side. Myself, but uh, I feel comfortable having guys along like that, and I sure wouldn't like to be on the receiving end of anything like that. Uh, so there we are. I'd like to take this opportunity to ask uh, for a minute or two our. Our local detective from. Thank you very much, Gonzalez. It's a great pleasure. When I was phoned up last Thursday night, I think it was, by Gonzalez, inviting me to come here. Um, again, it was a great pleasure about a couple of months ago when I was with an officer who serves on the borough of Brent. And believe it or not, I was actually serving at Harleston and Kilburn in 1980 something, no way, all those years ago, uh, when I was a very young police officer in uniform. I met Musa then, and I was highly impressed with the work that was being done and that he was hoping to continue and develop with the group at Al-Taqwa. And I'd like to give our very sincere and best wishes to Al-Taqwa on this initiative from the Muslim Contact Unit. What is a Muslim Contact Unit? I'm not a Muslim, but many of the officers that serve with me are. My background working with Muslims has mainly come from having worked from an academic side as well, of having worked in refugee camps in the Middle East. And I was asked to come onto the unit because of a lot of my experiences over many years and an understanding from certain communities. The Muslim Contact Unit itself that I worked with was established back in 2002. It actually preempts an initiative, government initiative which you will probably have heard of called Prevent. And it was established by an individual called Bob Lambert. And Bob Lambert now, Bob, Dr. Bob Lambert was also the man who has established the European Muslim Research Centre down at Exeter University, which highlights Islamophobic attacks and the nature of them and the fact of the underreporting of them as well. But we were established essentially because there was a great concern that after 9 11, our Muslim communities, and I use the plural quite deliberately, communities, with feeling that they were under attack, that they were under constant suspicion. And indeed, we have seen that perhaps in the media and in other issues where there is a labelling goes on. But to our mind, Islam itself can have a great cohesive force within communities, and we have seen that. And not with the, only within the Muslim communities, but also non-Muslim communities. There are many different communities across London and across Brent who follow Islam. Some of them will have their own different traditional backgrounds and they will not always align themselves to other Muslims from other parts of the world. But the thing that we find, and the thing that in the Muslim Contact Unit we are very much the fore of, and we're perhaps, hopefully we're the same as many other police units, but we have a slight difference which has been highlighted at Birmingham University by a girl called Dr. Bazia Spalik, is that we believe in partnership in the truest sense. We believe in confidentiality but also we believe in trust. And trust is something which often hasn't been mentioned when we talk about police community engagement. But to us it is at the very forefront of what we do. We engage with various groups, we've helped set up numerous prevent initiatives prior to prevent escalating to what it is today, such as the Active Change Foundation uh, up in Walthamstow, the reality is we have now got down to, we're also hoping to start running perhaps self-defence classes, first aid classes for women's groups, for men's groups, for whatever is required, and whatever the communities tell us they would actually like. But we're also engaging in imam training as well, highlighting domestic abuse, highlighting issues which they may come to, or may come to their uh, knowledge or to their uh, hearings and their ears as a result of their positions, as well as the management, the trustees and the chair 
of Moss and Majid and others to such things as child abuse and what have you and see what the reality of the situation of the legislation is in order that we stop labelling. And that's extremely important to us because there's a, there is a derogatory aspect to much of the reporting we hear out in wider society and within the media. Just like to finish now, it's only brief words I was uh, given. Certainly we are we great supporters of what you have just spoken about with regards to um, particularly crimes against children. Certainly I'd like to speak to you afterwards with regards to that. But we really would like to give our best wishes to this initiative and to every success in the future. Thank you very much.